Hello guys, it is I once again here to share with you a video. Now, what I wanted to share with you first off is I painted my nails black. Thankfully, they haven't, well, they sort of started chipping a little bit. They, uh, they did a little bit. Not on this hand, though. This hand is all good and fine and dandy for now. But it's always my right hand for whatever reason. I think it's because of my dominant hand and I do it for and I use it for a lot of things. So, you know, whatever. But it's nice that um the color is nice, it's nice shining. Um it's um it goes on easy and it stays on pretty good, except for my right hand. But, you know, whatever. Anywho, um, Let's see, what else to share with you? Um, let's see. I, uh, recently, uh, have gotten my, um, smooth tobacco from my grandfather. Because, since he's not smoking the pipe anymore, um, then, you know. There's no point in having this tobacco because he doesn't roll the cigarettes, he doesn't have tobacco, so he doesn't need tobacco because he doesn't roll cigarettes and he doesn't smoke a pipe. So, yeah. Um got that. Um, so I have two jars of tobacco now that are both about half full. I say about because this one is this one is uh well, not quite half full, it's a little bit less, but it's about half full. Um, I'd say about a quarter, actually, to be perfectly honest. So I have one that's a half, that's, well, let's see. This is, yeah, this is about half full. So, if I were to mix it together, it would be about three quarters of a jar. So, yeah. But anyway, um, I'm not going to mix it, I'm not going to mix it together. Because I want to have the experience of having one blend that I made and then one pure tobacco that I have. So, yeah. That way I can alternate between the two if I want to, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, I'm coming down with something, and I don't know what it is, but I, I, I don't know if you can tell, but I, I feel sick, I, I sound sick, um, and yeah, it's just like, uh, just, uh, so yeah, um, anywho, um, I, uh, just wanted to share that, um, I, I have that going on for me, and, um, well, um, I don't have a lot else to share with you, um, I'm gonna share with you my altars today, so let's go do that now. Alright, so first I'm going to show you my working altar. I'm going to have to turn you sideways so that you can see it most of it. And then I'm going to turn you right side up again so that you guys can, uh, so you guys can have the normal view. So here it is. Alright, so now we're going to go through it and, uh, do my thing. As I usually do with altars. So, let's first close up this drawer there then I have my um, besom my little besom I have my thame I have my little wand here I have some chalk in case I need to do some circles I have my divination dice I have a uh, a uh, wax or uh, scented oil burner I have my I have one of my uh, incense burners here, a black candle for my black magic, um, my sigil of um, Zozo to get away, to get Zozo away from me. This is a jar of water, and I have uh, my jar here for decoration. Really, my candles obviously red, white, pink, brown, orange, just because. Um, and in these containers here and here, I do have, um, white candles, um, and then I have in the middle here, I have, um, a ball of thread, 
I have my sage, my sage. I have the pentacle by made by the five elements: earth, earth, fire, water, uh, earth, fire, water, air, and uh, spirit. Uh, I also have an incense stick made by a pentacle that I made. Um, I have another incense burner here with an incense in it. And, um, I have another, I have an inspiration candle here, and another black candle here, and it's just a jar with some flowers and, uh, um, and, uh, orange peels in it. And then I have my reading area here where I do readings. So, yeah. Los Sadisima Muerte's altar is, uh, very nice. I was able to find some fake white flowers for her. I was able to find some real flowers for her. So that's that. Um, her candies, her Bible, her prayer box. These are some more flowers for her. Some um, drying flowers for her. Um, some the Mexican folded paper. Some more flowers for her. The uh, sanitizer for her. Her money bottle, her money, her little tea guy, her blood, um, her money, her little tea bottle, tea guy, and uh, blood, and uh, black salt. Her two crosses. Um, one has a chain, one has not. I'm gonna keep this one on her altar all the time, and this one I might wear when I'm worshiping her. Um, obviously her statue and her feathers, um, her, um, God's eye, her fruit. I found some coke, so I put some in a little bottle for her, and some water, some, uh, fruit for her, her cigarettes, her black candle, and then her incense, and then, of course, her coffee and sage. So that is that. Um, on Hakate's altar, if I can pick some stuff up here, I don't know why this is not picked up already. Alright, um, on Hakate's altar, I have one white candle, one red candle, some onions, a black candle, um, this is going to be holding a mixture of herbs eventually. This is uh, mint, her timer, her lighter, her apple, her scrolls, her uh, sage, um, her athame, her flute that I play with for her, her bell that I ring at the end of the every worshipping session, her flowers, her lighting candles, her prayer box, because I think that prayer boxes are a great idea, so I kind of took that idea from Ryan Espich. Um, a white candle here, a red candle over here. Um, I have a bunch of quartz all around, and some uh, and two uh, incense burners in the back. Um, and that is basically all of my altars, guys. Um, so yeah. Unless I make another one, I don't plan on it, but unless I make another one, that's how my room is going to be most of the time. So, yeah. Until I see you guys next, I hope that you have a wonderful time, and I hope that you guys enjoy the video. So, until next time, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.